is the Emergency Medical Minute. All right, so uh, I was going to take just a minute to talk about uh, AICDs, something that we see relatively common in the ER, specifically as far as the indications uh, uh, for AICD placement. So what what is AICD an acronym for? Yeah. Uh huh. Automated internal uh, cardioverter de- defibrillator. Um, so uh, you probably have a sense just from that and the way uh, you've seen patients come in uh, with defibrillator firings that uh, it's to abort uh, a cardiac arrest. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the indications for placing uh, an AICD. Uh, so. Uh, an obvious indication would be secondary prevention. If a patient has had a cardiac arrest ever in the past, uh, generally unless there's sort of a well-defined reversible cause, such as a electrolyte disturbance or a medication uh, that prolonged the QT, uh, that could be reversed, those patients generally get cardioverter uh, defibrillators. So that's what's called secondary prevention. As far as primary prevention, uh, I have a couple of uh, pictures up here just to serve as, as uh, triggers. Uh, so it ends up that anyone, the magic number there is uh, equal to or less than 35% uh, in terms of EF. So anyone who has an EF of equal to or less than 35%, regardless of uh, whether or not they've ever had VTAC or VFib or unexplained syncope, Those patients are found that it's cost effective uh, in terms of their uh, morbidity and mortality to have a cardioverter defibrillator placed. Um, So the causes of that generally are going to be cardiomyopathy, ischemic being the most common. Um, As far as the next category, what I put up there is, what, what is that rhythm right there? So that's VTAC. Um, so, uh, so if you've had an episode of VTAC, that doesn't necessarily uh, uh, indicate you for a cardioverter defibrillator. But if you have underlying structural heart disease and an episode of VTAC, so anyone who's had uh, you know uh, uh, underlying uh, dilated cardiomyopathy or significant valvular disease, other things that constitute a structural heart disease, and has an episode of VTAC, which is there are more beats uh, uh, of a wide complex tachycardia, uh, uh, those patients get cardioverter defibrillators. And the final category, that's, uh, uh, these are channels. Uh, so there's a broad uh, uh, slew of conditions, generally genetic, which are called uh, channelopathies. Some of them uh, you may have heard of, things that can give you like prolonged QT. Uh, some of them are genetic channelopathies. Some of them are medication-induced. Um, Brugada syndrome. So certain patients who have uh, those types of conditions and have unexplained syncope uh, or episodes of VTAC, those patients get cardioverter defibrillators. So next time you see a patient with a cardioverter defibrillator, just think about the indication that they had because that may have uh, uh, implications for why they're presenting to the emergency room. All right? Anyone have any questions on that? All right, good times. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.